Hello everyone, and welcome back to Knights of the Old Republic 1. We are going to take... at least these two for now. I have not been able to find it still. God dang it. So we will do this, that quest too, just not right now. Up car. Alright. Exit dress stage. Oh god dang it, Karth. Damn it, Karth. Are you one of the Sith that you catch me? Isn't that obvious? You must be very sharp to possess such an astute sense of perception. Obviously death since I asked you to leave. Can I ask a question? No, you may not. I'm busy amusing myself and I'm not going to miss any of it. Now get lost before I teach you a lesson. You can try. Leave me be. Can I ask a question? No, you may not. Loser. Please, don't hurt me. I am too weak with hunger. You'll get no turns with a fool. And when you do, I will be there laughing as you collapse from heat exhaustion and Mikkel's beatings. Why are you standing here? What are you doing? Are you Miko? And what if I am? What are you... You have to use... Why are you making those men stand there? That is the whole point. Personally, I think it's wonderful fun. Those fools actually think that if they stand there long enough, I'll let them become a Sith. Idiots. A Sith is not a banter, all endurance and no brains. A Sith would fight for his life, no matter the odds. If these rock grubs are as stupid as they seem, then they deserve their fate. I dem then I demand you to stop this at once. You demand. Why would I listen to you? I'll do as I please. And if watching these fools starve themselves amuses me, that's what I'll do. Oh, what a sweet guy. He should get the Sith Congeniality Medal. 
Hmm. It is a bit boring standing out here all day, however. I think I'll go for some dinner. It will be fun to think of them while I gorge myself. I'll still be here in an hour or two, surely. I suggest you run along before I decide to make you part of the fun. Miko's tricking you. He'll never let you into the academy. Tricking you, you'll never get into the academy. No, it can't be. You're wrong. And you're dead. Darth Revan, Lord of I was Lord of the Sith, let me in. I see. And who might your friends be? It's obvious you don't believe me, but I really am Darth Revan. On your way, citizen. You are neither a Sith. You will let me inside. I have been conditioned to resist mental persuasion, citizen. Please do not attempt that again. How do I become a Sith then? You must be admitted to the Academy. That decision. The final decision, however, remains with Master Yuthura. I believe she is currently at the cantina if you wish to seek her out. Now go. Like I have a few more things to do before I can get continue on. All right, what was it? No, 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 no! Hey, what's it. this? Looks like we found ourselves a bit of sport, my friends. This is good. I want to celebrate my acceptance into the academy. Me too. So how about a chunk? Ready to die? I'm eager to blow off some steam after those tests. Are you sure you want to die? That's pretty funny. Why should we be scared of you? Cause I'm not it's not I'm not the it's not no punk who's biting off more than he can chew. Um this one doesn't look like a pushover, you know. Maybe we should reconsider. Yeah, okay. Just keep out of our way next time. You don't want to fuck with me, boy. <laughs> Once you become a Sith, you can do anything. You can feel the power coursing through you. It's gonna compare to me. But please, friend, we are pleased you got your success, but. Jedi, just keep walking. 
Yeah, let's see how tough you are then. I am a Sith now. My power is supreme. Prepare to die. The Bondar Crystal, which is supposed to <coughs> will uh, increase stun, stunning by like 25%. Alright. Everyone good? Lord is a cash. We're almost getting to you, buddy. Don't worry. Thoraban. Can you not see that I am busy, human? Ah, oh, I see you have a medallion. Where did you get it? I took it from our student, actually. I see. How very enterprising of you. Though that is not the normal way that we select our students for the academy. We Sith do encourage such independent thinking. You may even be a suitable candidate to join us. That is what you wish, I take it. To become a Sith. Hmm, yes, that's exactly why I'm here. Let me join you. Ah, oh, so you are just another hopeful after all. Or are you? There is something odd about you that I cannot place. Obviously, you are a Jedi. One who is very strong in the Force, it seems. So were you a part of the Order for very long? Did they train you? Hmm... Yes, but only very little. As I thought, how interesting that they would let one with such power out of their grasp. Or are you here to spy on us? For all the good it would do. With that kind of power, you could become a great Sith. That's what am I here for? If I let you, does that <clears throat> interest you? Yes, it does. I wish to become a Sith. Oh, good. Exactly the sort of answer I was hoping for. I will take you to the Academy, and we shall see if you are ready to join the ranks of the Sith. I have only one other question. These companions of yours, they will not be coming with you, I presume. They are slaves. Don't worry about them. I see. Fair enough. So long as they do not disturb your training or cause any trouble. Are you ready to go to the Academy, then? Yes, I am, Master. Then let us leave. The Master of the Academy awaits you. Woohoo! Greetings, prospective students. It appears we have a late entry. Who do you bring before me, Thura? A young human bristling with the falls? A human that has had some training, it seems, Master Uthar. Very promising, I think. Promising? <laughs> that one's not worthy to lick spit off your shoes, Master. I met this one in the colony. Unworthy, if you ask me. I'll judge for myself, thank you. Tell me, human. What do you know of the ways of the Sith? What preconceptions has your mind been polluted with? I know the Sith are more powerful, a force to be reckoned with. A diplomatic answer, if not the core of the matter. Our power is obvious. <laughs> the question in truth goes much deeper than the surface. The Jedi equate the light with goodness and strength, and the 
dark with weakness. That is their tradition. It is truly no surprise that they cling to it for comfort. We, however, do not treat the force as a... It's actually not a weakness. They just don't follow it because it's not their way. We use it to acquire power. In truth, I think I'm finally figuring out the ways. Because the Jedi say we should... We are as the force is meant to be. The Jedi would hide out from you. They would tell you the dark side is too quick, too easy. All so that they need never challenge the passions of my Joining with us means realizing your true potential. It means not stifling yourself solely for the sake of hidebound shamans and their antiquated notion of order. Be what you were meant to be. What say you, Lasher? Are you ready to learn the secrets of the dark side? Dare you? I dare, Master Uthar. I am ready. Brash and fiery, as expected. Turn that passion to the What of you, Meekle? Are you ready? I am, Master. More oh. than ready. I sense much anger in me. That is good. That will provide you power. And Shardan, what of you? I am always ready. I see. You had best gather your wits for the trial ahead, boy, or you will not last. And you, young human, does this interest you? Mm. Are you ready to learn more of what I speak? I am ready to learn more. Are you? I can see into your heart, young human. I see the dark kernel that is there. If it is ready to sprout, remains to be seen. Now then, all of you five recruits have shown a degree of facility with the Force. You all have the potential to become true Sith. Only one of you, however, will succeed. <coughs> the one who succeeds will be admitted to the Academy as a full Sith. All others must wait until next year and try again. If you survive, my pupil, Euthura, shall be your teacher and master while you attempt to prove yourselves. Heed her words. As Master Uthar said, none of you are true Sith yet. For that to occur, one of you must do enough of worth, gain enough prestige okay. to be selected. What is an act Let's of worth? re-verify this you again. That for yourselves. Remember that you are competitors here. Fight Out of the five of us. There is only one of us that's a true actual Sith. The first of you to learn the code of the Sith and tell me of it will be rewarded. The rest is for you to discover. Welcome to the dark side, my children. Your one chance at true greatness lies here. Okay, what I get. Ah, my pass card. Okay. Prospect. Absolutely. By my estimation, you are far more likely to achieve the prestige necessary to join the Sith than any of the others. As a matter of fact, I am so certain of that that I'm willing to offer you an opportunity of the once-in-a-lifetime variety. Would you like to hear it? Mm. Absolutely. Good. I do so adore someone who's willing to take a chance. As I said, you're no doubt going to be the one whom Uthar chooses to become a Sith. With my help, of course. Once that occurs, he will take you into the Valley of the Dark Lords, to the tomb of Nagasado, to administer the final test. There you and I will be alone with him. The perfect time to, shall we say, arrange for a change in the Academy's leadership. Mm, what's so important about this exact tomb? The tomb is an ancient ruin on the surface that was visited years Ooh. ago by Darth Revan and Darth Malak. They discovered a star map there of great importance. Darth Malak went there? Very interesting, isn't it, Master? Reaching that <laughs> map as they did is part of the final oh, Karth, test. Don't talk about the bedtime anyway, stuff. It is not the tomb that is important. That Uthar will be alone <clears throat> is what is important. Hmm. What's stopping me from telling him about this? I suppose you could do that. Even the hint of betrayal from his pupil and Uthar would move to eliminate me. 
But this is a very good opportunity for you. You can start off your Sith career as the right hand of the head of the Academy. Me, Uthar will not offer you that. Do you believe Uthar would not be aware of this? He would quickly figure out what you have to gain by betraying him, and would never believe someone would pass that up. Tell Master Uthar what you wish. Were I you, I would think first of what the consequences of such an action might be. Actually, that's the easy part. What's your part in this? My part in this is to help you gain enough prestige and slow down the progress of the other hopefuls. I want you in that tomb when the time is right. We destroy Master Uthar together and I take his place. And you take your place at my side. A beautiful plan in its sheer simplicity. Okay. You want me to kill Master Uthar? Is that such a daunting prospect? No. It is not as if I am asking you to perform the task alone. Or as if you will get nothing out of it. Master Uthar cannot prevail against us both. That's all there is to it. It is a very simple matter. P pupil against Master. Sounds familiar. And so it should. It is central to our beliefs. It is my responsibility to replace my Master when I am strong enough. Hmm. Very well, I agree. I'm so glad you see it my way. I will begin to make preparations for your final test. Your only worry now is to get there. Don't disappoint me. Alright, well then, can you tell me the code? I can help you understand it. Would you like to hear it? Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. The Force shall free me. Simple words, yet easily misunderstood. Would you care for me to explain anything? Actually, yes. Because we're going to do all... We're going to learn about all of it. Peace is a lie. There is only passion. The Jedi would have you believe that peace is a desirable goal. That peace of the spirit is the way the Force is mastered. That a lack of conflict betters man. We know different. It is our passion. Our hate and our desire that fuels the force. It is conflict that improves the lot of civilization and single being both. Conflict forces one to better oneself. It forces change, growth, adaption, evolution, or See, death. But... These are not our laws, but the universe's. Without conflict, you have only stagnation. Through passion, I gain strength. What fuels your power with the force but your passion? The stronger, darker emotions. See. Anger, hatred, fear. These passions empower us. And passion is a... F what about love? Love is more dangerous than all those things. Love leads mm. to anger and hatred more often than not. But it also leads to mercy, which is far worse. That, however, is a lesson for another time. Both seem like awfully negative passions. Negative? Compared to what? What keeps even the most rudimentary creature alive? Fear to run. Anger to fight. Without it, a creature would most surely die. Mm. Are you saying we aren't anything more than a rudimentary creature? We are far more than them, perhaps. But in some ways, we are little different. To think us creatures beyond the need of simple passions is a delusion. The Jedi say the opposite. How can both be right? The Force gives us all power, even the Jedi. It is our mastery of our passion that gives us the strength they lack. I can see that, man. I see. It is our goal to be stronger, to achieve our potential and not rest upon our laurels. We are the Seekers, not the Shepherds. Through strength, I gain power. The stronger you become in the Force, the more power you will achieve. But always must you fight for your power. Without strife, your victory has no meaning. Without strife, you do not advance. Without strife, there is only stagnation. You're always talking about stagnation, but I get it, that one. Through power, I gain victory. How many sorts of victories can you imagine? Peaceful victory, victory by sacrifice, a truce, an achievement. Unless the victory is achieved by demonstrating that your power is superior, it is only an illusion, temporary at best. We seek more. Okay. Through victory, my chains are broken. This has been argued over, 
and often. The chains represent our restrictions, both those placed upon us and those we place upon ourselves. Ultimately, the goal of any Sith is to free herself from such restrictions. In a way, it is so we may do whatever we wish, but it is much more than that. One who has freed themselves from all restrictions has reached perfection, their potential fulfilled. Perfect strength, perfect power, perfect destiny. Imagine it. That is our ideal at any rate. Sithari. It is said in Sith legend that the Sithari, the perfect being, will one day lead us. But perhaps that is just a legend. Hmm, you don't think the Sithari can exist. I wonder what that being would be like. The legends say the Sithari will destroy us and make us stronger than ever. But perhaps that is just a legend. Perfection is a goal like huh. that rather than a state of being. The Jedi would argue that, no doubt. The Force shall free me. The Force is our servant and our master, our teacher and our companion, a weapon and a tool. Know it, and you know the universe. Master it, and you master the universe. Strive for perfection, and the Force shall reward you. I think that's it. I am not surprised. The Force is strong with you. Master it and it shall serve you well. Alright. Do you know anything about Darth Revan? Revan? You mean Darth Malak's former master? That's the one. Very little. I never met her personally. Though I hear she was a powerful woman. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very charismatic. In the end, Revan was outshone by her pupil. Such is the way of the Sith. Why? Is this dead woman of importance to you? Hmm. So you wouldn't recognize Revan if you two, if the two of you met. Is there any reason I should? Beside the fact I did not know Revan in life. Revan was known for wearing a full helmet and cape. Perhaps Revan's body had been disfigured by the power of the Force. It is not unheard of. Regardless, I doubt I shall be meeting Revan anytime soon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you think it is possible Revan might be alive? Anything is possible. Uthar's former master still lives, though he is in no condition to challenge his former pupil for leadership. Perhaps the same is true for Revan. Perhaps Revan is out there, somewhere, waiting to take revenge upon Malak. More likely, what we were told is the truth. Revan is dead. Malak would be foolish to leave his old master alive, considering all the knowledge Revan held. <laughs> so you mean Revan that- you mentioned Revan that came here before. Both Revan and Malak came to Korriban when they discovered the tomb of Nagasato. That was before my time. That's all I want to know. There. All right. You have had an excellent start. Go gain more prestige. All right. So. Double cross. Uthar Bane has chosen you to be part of her plot to overthrow Master Uthar and take over the academy. She didn't give you much choice in the matter. Uth Uthar will give you enough. Will help you gain enough prestige to be worthy for the final battle. Okay. I need another code, though, Seth. Then finish the code as I speak it. Peace is a lie. That is only... Passion. Through passion, I gain... Strength. Through strength, I gain... Power. Through power, I gain... Victory. Through victory... My chains are broken. The Force shall free me. Yes, good. You have indeed learned the code of the Sith. Speaking the words and knowing the words are, however... Two different things. Tell me them, true or false. It is our passion that fuels the force. True. Well done. I will test you no more. You know the code. Very impressive. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. 
I must tell I have something to tell you about Yathora. Oh? What is my apprentice up to now? She wants me to kill you at the final trial. I see. It is good that you have come to me with this information, young one. It is a bit ironic that Euthura has begun her plotting. I have been aware of her growing ambitions for some time, and had in fact already decided to remove her. Normally, the one who gains the most prestige would engage in a final trial. Two of the students would fight. This time, it will be Euthura who battles, though she does not yet know it. Perhaps it will be you who combats her. Yes, perhaps so. This is what you can do. Give this pad to Adrenus. He will put some poison in her bath. This will weaken Euthura for that final test, making her an easy target. Rather generous of me, don't you think? I'd love to know what's going on in that tricky mind of yours. <laughs> Coming to me with this information and betraying your foolish trainer. I feel you are worthy of prestige, young one. Go now. You have not yet impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. I'll be on my way. Very well. You have impressed me. Definitely a good start. Yeah. I'm sorry, this dude's a freaking idiot. Sorry, this is why I only wanted it for. I understand you have impressed Master Uthar at least a little. That is good. We are one step closer to completing my plan. Were I you, I would not get too excited just yet. You still have plenty left to do. I know. But I have some news about Uthar. What? What's happened? Our plan is still intact, I hope. He plans to have me fight you in the final test. Ah, how very clever of him. Normally you would face some other student in the two, preferably one of the failed ones. Obviously Uthar has decided to get rid of me. But why? Did you say something to him? Yep. What? A fool! Ooh, while I respect your attempt to play both sides of the fence, you are playing a dangerous game. If you think Uthar will truly be so grateful to you for double-crossing me, think again. Your only chance lies with me. In the end, it yeah. works out better that it is only the two of us in the tomb with him. So long as we refuse to fight, is there anything else I should know? Actually, yes. He wants to poison you. I'm supposed to give this, po the, this pad to Andranus. Let me see that. <laughs> true. Thank you for bringing this to me. Now I will be far stronger than Uthar expects. Here, this pass card will allow you access to Uthar's quarters. It's at the far end of the passages with the other quarters. Take this device as well and put it inside his cot. No one should see you do it. Then Uthar will be too weak to stand up against us. Don't even think of failing me. You and I are too far into this now to back out. Yeah, I wasn't going to do that point after. Let's get to go, 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 go. The device can be placed easily underneath the bed. It apparently will stick into the metal, to the metal and be out of sight. Place the device. With the world, the device crawls away upon being placed. It is done. <clears throat> Sith mask, Jedi robe. Wow. All right. Talk to no one, cause I know which side this is. Dying. So, 
this is going to have to be where we are going to end. Yeah, end this episode. For the fact I still have to... Try to get both... Well, Cart's last quest activated. Well, hopefully I didn't screw it up. Yeah, hopefully I didn't screw it up. Let's get the hell out of here quick. <laughs> Cause it, well, I do need to get a new lightsaber soon. That's right, his permanent death is here. All you're gonna hear is just the roading every so often dying. This episode off at Yes, what's in your Korriban's a desolate world and a Sith planet. There's only one small colony here. That's all I can all right. If you like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, check my channel as well for too. Hopefully we'll get uh, dang it. Hopefully we get the dustal quest.